Hello, my name is Bobby, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Happy, the latest feature release for Scrivener for Jira on premise, to update custom fields in your scripts. If you're unfamiliar with Happy, I recommend going and watching one of the previous videos where we discuss not only what Happy is, but how it works, and how you can use it to update your existing Scrivener scripts. Today, in this one, I'm going to be showing you how easy it can be now to update your custom fields using Happy as compared to using the Jira Java API. So let's look at some fields. As you can see here, we have three scripts to update three separate custom field types. And as you can also see, the way to update each of those custom field types changes depending on which custom field you're dealing with. So the way to update a single select list is different from updating a multi-select list, which is also different from updating a cascading field. But if I run this script, we'll be able to see that it will go and update the Jira issue CS1. So we can see it here. And if I refresh, we get all the values that we've got entered. With Happy, we remove the variance depending on the custom field type. And we also make updating an issue and an issue's custom fields much easier. So with Happy, all I need to do is type issues dot get by key. So here I define which issue I'm going to be updating. So CS1 and I can do dot update. Then within the closure, I need to set my custom field values. So set custom field value. When I open up the quotes, I get a list of all the custom fields that are currently available. So let's update the cascading select list first. It's now telling us what it expects. So it's going to be expecting two values, the first and the second. If I enter the quote marks, I get suggestions which are available in the first. So let's go with United States. And then in the second, I'm going to get the correct options based upon what I've selected in the first. So let's go New York. If I were to change this, so let's say, for example, I change this to be United Kingdom. And I go to the next, I get different options there. But let's revert this back to United States. And we'll go with New York. I can also update the other custom fields. So for example, set custom field. I'm going to select the multi-select list now. And I can add the options that I want to. I could either just use alpha or I can go further and update with all of the options that I want selected. Finally, the single select list. And this one is called department. And here I just get the options that are available for my department. Now I can click run. This is going to update the issue and I can go to see the issue has been updated with the correct options that I've selected according to my scripts. As you can see, using Happy to update custom fields is much simpler than using the Jira Java API and can be accomplished in significantly less code. However, Happy's functionality is not limited to just being able to set the value of fields. You might want to modify them in a different way. So for example, I might be happy that alpha, beta, and gamma are in my multi-select custom field, but I might want to add delta into that. So instead of setting the value again from scratch, what I can do is I can type set custom field value, pass my multi-select list as an option, and then I can open up an enclosure here. In that enclosure, I can use the add function and then pass the delta option into that function. So what this will now do is it will take the multi-select list custom field and it will just add that option in rather than resetting all of them. So if I click run, I can go through to my custom field, my issue, and I can see that my custom field has been updated to include delta. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.